This is number 35. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, solve this one. Now, let's, I'm going to show you guys. I, I'm not going to show you that way. I'm just going to do this one simple way. You guys could solve this by factoring. We could easily do our main important point. Um, we could do an A to C method. But that's going to be a pretty big number, right? 36 times 25 once we get them on the same side. So let me go back to a little bit of review. What did you guys do here? Amber, how do you solve this equation? What do you do to solve for x? You add 4 to the other side, right? We called that. We added 4. You need to listen. You added 4. Why? Because that was the inverse operation, right? Adding is opposite of subtracting, correct? Adding is opposite of subtracting. So therefore, we apply the inverse operations to isolate our variable. Now, do I only have one variable here? Yeah, I only have the x. I only have one form of this x, and it's x squared. So what I can do is I can use my inverse operations. I don't need to go by factoring. You can factor it. But you can also use your inverse operations. So what's happening to my variable? It's being multiplied by 36. So divide by 36. Guys, can you please not, I don't understand why I'm hearing any whispering. I'm still going over a problem that you guys didn't have written down. So therefore, you have x squared equals 25 divided by 36. I don't need to write it. Yep. So now, if the inverse of subtraction is adding, what's the inverse of squaring? Square root. So now you take the square root, and you're left with x equals the square root of 25 over the square, square root of 36. Well, the square root of 25, well, actually, it's going to be plus or minus 5 over 6. Make sure you have to include a positive and a negative. All right? Because 5 times 5 gives you 25, and negative 5 times negative 5 gives you 25. So you have to include the positive and the negative. All right? There you go.